Oh, hi there. How's it going? Where's Riley? Oh, uh, she's kind of busy right now playing Overwatch 2. So let's keep this between you and me. I know a lot of you like airplanes, just like I do, just like Riley does. And yeah, there's an update coming to GT Online on Tuesday, the Los Santos Drug Wars. And in the artwork, we see the duster spraying something, which has led me to an idea I've had for quite a while now that I hope becomes a uh, reality. The war duster. Yes. Hopefully this means that we're finally getting the war duster added to GT online. Most likely not, but this is my idea of what I would like to see when it comes to a customizable version of the duster, AKA the war duster. Obviously inspired by the biplanes of the First World War, a.k.a. the Great War. We're going to have not only the uh, LSD spray on it, which is what I think is being sprayed in the artwork, but does the biplane, a.k.a. the duster, have to be completely defenseless? Absolutely not. I think this thing could use a few improvements. Guns, bombs, armor along with some World War I era liveries and skins. Obviously, there also should be like performance upgrades as well in the engine, speed, handling, etc. Obviously, this isn't going to be able to go up against uh, Riley's Pyro, but I think that they could make this a decent dogfighting warplane. Now, when it comes to the weapon tree, there's a variety of different uh, ways they could go about doing it. The easiest is just to put some guns on the front of the plane so that the pilot can fly and be gunner at the same time and have the co-pilot, you know, work the spray as well as bombs. Maybe you can like switch between spray and bombs or if they want to go crazy, they could put a tail gunner, like a rear gun that rotates similar to some world war one war planes from back in the day. But the problem with that is when you sit in the duster, you're in the back seat as the pilot while the co-pilot sits in the front seat, which seems a little bass backwards and counterintuitive if you want to have like a rotating rare gun on the back. In other words, the war duster would have to be flipped to where the pilot sits in the front seat and the co-pilot sits in the back seat. Now this makes more sense for multiple reasons. For one thing, if you have front guns, then obviously being in the front seat would make more sense as opposed to the back seat. And if you have a gun in the back for defensive purposes, then you want your gunner to be behind you, not in front of you. The different skins featured in World War One, thanks to this uh, poster off of Amazon that I found. A lot of cool different designs, like from the German Empire, British Empire, the French Empire, could be implemented as, as different skin options that you could uh, equip onto your war duster. And I do think that along with engine upgrades and performance upgrades, we need a bit of armor on this thing. Yeah, I know that the World War I warplanes back in the day could be easily destroyed and shot out of the sky. But this is GT Online we're dealing with. In order to give the War Duster a better chance in the skies of Southern San Andreas and Los Santos, I think it could use a bit of an armor buff in order to take at least one or two missile rocket shots from broomsticks, other fighter jets, and planes that are already in the game, including attack helicopters. It could be a fun new PVP type aircraft to not only use in the missions that are coming with the uh, Los Santos Drug Wars update, but also against other players, especially if you're going in with a co pilot fighting, you know, like air to air or air to ground combat. And I don't want the guns to be explosive, but I, I want them to have a bit of a kick to them to where they can actually damage and take other planes and helicopters out of the skies. But if the rear gun had a bit more kick to it, that would be fantastic as well. And hopefully it has a better radius than the gun on uh, the Tula, as well as a few other aircraft in the game that also happen to have an additional rotating gunner. Now, before I wrap up, yeah, the duster in the R work is most likely just going to be the standard duster that we already have. You're just going to be able to use the, the spray mechanism underneath the duster. But wouldn't it be amazing? if we could upgrade and convert the duster into a war duster with all these wonderful toys, guns, bombs, armor upgrades, performance upgrades, different skins from World War I era aircraft. And perhaps the war duster could rule the skies of Southern San Andreas, taking down anything that comes in its way. Broomsticks, pyros, starlings, hunters, 
and become the most OP aircraft in the game today. And nobody will be safe from my squadrons of war dusters that will rain havoc upon the people of Los Santos and Southern San Andreas, and no one will dare take the skies against me. Hello. Hey, what are you doing in my hangar? What are you doing in my channel? Well, I don't know. I was just, uh, I had this idea for a video, and wow. I thought it'd be great on your channel, and I okay. put it together, and uh, I, yeah. I leave, I leave you for five minutes, and this is what you do? You start posting stuff on my channel? Look, you know I've been wanting a war duster in the game, and I just thought this would be a good opportunity with the update coming up on Tuesday and the duster being in the artwork, and... Oh, no! 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 I'm sorry! All right. Well, uh, that was weird, but yeah, that's pretty much it. Hopefully we get a new aircraft and the new update. I mean, we saw the duster like GB was talking about. Hopefully we get something with that, at least some customization or something, but uh, yeah, one can hope, right? But yeah, that's the end of the video, and I'll talk to you all later in the uh, next video. Bye-bye.